Welcome back to our Thursday Masterclass. Now we can't talk about eggs without making some scrumptious pancakes. And this is exactly what we're going to be doing up next. Now we're making some hearty Lucky Star cheese tuna roll-ups, something I've never heard before. But think of pancakes, those fluffy pancakes filled with tuna mayo, smothered in a cheese sauce, and then baked off until golden brown. I mean, absolutely yummy. Jenga se kaya. Yum, yum, yum. Like... <laughs> I was one of those kids in school when I ever checked my lunchbox and there wasn't peanut butter or bologna, there was actually tuna mayo. Do you know how happy I was? Yes. That was a good day. I love that. <laughs> and I also love the fact here that Lucky Star has definitely come through when it comes to making this possible. I mean, think of something so simple, so versatile, but being able to turn it on its head and um, taste the deliciousness of it. We're making savory pancakes. Yes, Balissa. And to make our savory pancakes, because we need to put that beautiful Lucky Star product somewhere. So so we're making the base of our uh, pancake and all we need for this recipe is just some some milk, some eggs and some self-raising flour. So that's a simple, you don't need to get the flour, weigh out the baking powder, yeah. don't stress yourself. Just self-raising flour, some milk and some eggs. So I'm going to start with that base and you are busy grating up some cheese. I'm busy grating the cheese. Or some stuff. So to go in, I'm just going with two eggs. So this is another way to incorporate those eggs into our recipe because we're yeah. putting them inside our pancake. Now this is the baking method. The baking method. Also. Another thing you can do is you can actually make your pancakes beforehand. So the same pancakes can be made beforehand. Mm -hmm. And then you can actually change up the dishes. Use it sweet if you want. And then have it the next day. Or pre prep your life. But <laughs> we are focusing on a more savory recipe here. And it yeah. seems as if and savory is the theme today on the show. Um, already, I've decanted the tuna, the Lucky Star tuna. I've separated the water and um, from the actual meat, the tuna fish meat. It is quick, it is easy. They've made it that much more convenient with these easy to peel off lids. I've got it off in almost two seconds. But if you're not one who likes the watery type of tuna, the water-based tuna, then you can also go with here, yeah, the one that's in vegetable oil. Super simple, you've got options. That's have an, options. Yeah, that's, have options. exactly, that's a great <laughs> thing because Balisa, you know with, with Lucky Star, that's another product I know that Ekaya, we always had some Lucky Star in the, in the the cabinet in yeah. for, for those days because it's perfect for recipes like this where you've yeah. got everything else but you need a nice quick meat or, or protein that doesn't need hours of cooking so all you do is just take it out from the cupboard and you finish a dish like i've had tin fish stews i've had like you said the tuna mayo uh, the, sandwiches the fish or, do you know is but Everybody has tuna in their cup. Come on. Yeah. You always have tuna. And speaking and it's of so which, versatile. It is. And now it's the time where I've already added in my mayo. And I'm just going to work it all the way through, all the way in. I think eating this at that dinner table is going to have me feeling like a winner. Yeah. <laughs> and no, speaking exactly about me. You know, speaking about feeling like a winner, we're actually giving away a very exciting hamper with Lucky Star. But stay tuned because I'm going to give you exciting details as to how you can enter. But it's a 1,000 Rand hamper from Lucky Star. Oh. And I think that every South African right now could do with some. I know. Yeah. Can I enter? <laughs> You're part of the family. You're not allowed. I am a guest. So here is the star, the Lucky Star tuna. Thank you so much. Mm, this does smell good. Smells good, huh? It does Creamy, smell Creamy. Delicious. And I also love it because you are adding um, additional salt and pepper just to taste. But, I mean, you can omit it if you do feel You can like totally it. omit it if you want. But you know yeah. me, I just want to be salt bay. Yes, <laughs> because um, Lucky Star Chin already has those flavors. It really mm. does come with additional salt as well. I mean, back in the day, Dumi, Uma, Ukoko used to make our sandwiches, mm. um, used to make stew, used to make so many different beautiful recipes, easy, quick recipes using Lucky Star. But I also the fact here now we're you know we're in 2021 it's all about elevation and taking those fan favorites those classics the things that we grew up eating and making it a little different making it a little fresh something else that i love about lucky star i mean i can even use their tuna in a sushi i love that oh. Balisa, that's yeah. such a great idea. That is yeah. such a great idea. You take some lucky stuff. La la la. <laughs> so many times I've been craving sushi, but the budget is like, uh uh, girl. So I just take my lucky star. It's always stocked up in the pantry. And then, you know, I just take the rice and then I make my very own tuna. Look Thank me this. later. <laughs> I am here for that. When are you making a sushi? Yeah, we're going to have a sushi party at my house. But for now, as you are rolling it up, please let's move that grater just so that um, the viewers can see what okay, you're Okay, so doing. basically, you're just going to roll it up however you want. You can smear it on. You can put it in the center. You can put it on the side. All you want is just to be able to fold it close. Okay. And then just give it like a little cut in the middle. Okay. All chefy. 
all chefy like that. Making you're just sure going that to they pack need. it up okay. neat and tidy okay. in there. So you're giving us options, because normally if people are saying roll-ups, you'd want to lay them down in the, exactly. in the centre or on the actual bowl and the dish. So you're giving them a, a bit of a nice-looking mm. appeal to them, right? Which is not holding. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Oh, I've got an idea. I've got an idea. We're going to take our eggs. And our eggs are going to be placeholders. Placeholders propping up our roll-ups. Hopefully this works. See, <laughs> when we talk about the versatility of eggs, I'm telling you. And you just Thank keep you. creating this dish. You just keep rolling it up. Obviously, if you're having a dinner party, you can all come together. You can all make these roll-ups. And then you might not even need the eggs to hold it up because all of them will be ready in time. You put them next to each other and they're easy to enjoy. So how best um, do we enjoy this? Would this be like some like an appetizer? I would say this is more of like a treat to yourself. No. <laughs> I because I mean, that cheesy richness that you're gonna get from the cheese the sauce yeah. and then the cheese, but then that delicious tuna mayo that just can be eaten for breakfast, mm. for brunch, for lunch, and like we said, brekkie dindins. Who does not love a brekkie dindins? And do you know that tuna has so many omega fats in it as well, so it's so healthy? Mm. I mean. Yeah. So you can have it for dinner. You can, you can serve this for the kids. You can give it in the lunch boxes, like, you know, make their day like my day was made. <laughs> it's all about using those healthy oils, those healthy fats. And of exactly. course, they, we do know that tuna and fish, it is brain food. Brain. So who wouldn't want to feed their kids brain food? We're going into exam season. A lot of kids right now are studying assignments. I mean, we're thick within uh, semester two, not semester two, term two. And it's all about now being able to give your families what they can enjoy. So this is a special treat. Very true, Balissa. And uh, what's going to happen there is uh, MTS is going to basically put all of that into that bowl. It does Add take a juice. while. Yeah, it does. But as you can see, it gets to a point. <laughs> <laughs> cheese sauce and some of those um, that chopped cheese or grated cheese on top and we're gonna bake it in the oven just because everything is cooked technically so all you do you just need about um, five to ten minutes to get that golden brown finish it off with some chives mm -hmm. and there we go our roll-ups are done How delicious doesn't that look? it looks divine honestly I just can't oh. wait to dig into this and once again it is versatile so you could go with normal roll-ups however you want to put it in like if you don't have eggs to place hold <laughs> extras <laughs> You can just lay them down. You can just lay them is. down. And then you add some more cheese on top and yeah. then you put it in the oven. It firms up and is becoming difficult, beautifully um, incredible to eat. So I did promise you guys a competition. So are you ready for some great news? I would like to know, oh. Balissa. Tell us about it. All right. Now, we are giving away a 1,000 Rand Lucky Star hamper. It is filled with lots of delicious Lucky Star items and a coveted apron. All you have to do is just hop over to our Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram competition posts and tell us what dish you would make with a tin of Lucky Star tuna. Now, remember to include the hashtag Lucky Star SA. Competition closes at noon on Monday and T's and C's can be found on afternoonexpress.co.za.